like you always do, you want to be the victim. Once again, you want to be the victim again. You want to say somebody's bullying you or something's not going in the direction that you want it to go in. Once again. And I know somebody's going to come on here and say, oh my gosh, she's fat shaming. She's fat phobic. I'm not. I'm fat too. I'm a 1X. I'm a chunky monkey too. Because at the end of the Okay, so if you guys don't know, there's some drama going on with Samira yet again. Um, not me this time, apparently. But uh, apparently this comedian that I'm not aware of, I guess her name is Takara or whatever her name is. I'm not familiar with this individual. But I thought it'd be interesting to go over a little bit of the Samira drama because it seems like she has a rinse and repeat cycle of how she deals with it, which just basically is her not saying anything at all, not actually looking at the camera or maybe making funny faces. And I guess here looking at belly of the beast or feeling fearing the black body, which I guess is supposed to have some type of intrinsic meaning behind it. I'm not really sure what that is. Isn't fearing the black body literally just like a, a terrible generic pop pop culture book that tries to tell people that black people are oppressed in America because fat people were black at one point or vice versa and whatever. But we're going to go over this a little bit. And um, I just to let everybody know, I don't like Samira. Uh, Samira is a pussy, in my opinion. I think that she could have very easily exchanged words or rhetoric to win a point or at least like make a point but instead of making any type of point at all she instead tries to win it over by like virtue signaling in some ways or make it seem like she's far above it by not talking which is fine i guess for her but it just kind of makes you in my opinion makes you seem like a pussy you're not actually willing to exchange words or talk to anybody or even make a response video that's really really sad um, maybe for me personally, I wasn't clouded up enough for her to give me a response video in that particular fashion, but she most definitely, I most definitely had enough clout for her to make a response video in general, but, uh, she thought she could win. And I guess she did technically win in the sense of like, it's very easy for her to, uh, you know, claim that I had like microaggressions towards black people and things such as so forth. Um, but anyway, we're going to get into this. Once again, we're going to read some of these responses again. Okay? Um, so this was, this is my, this was my response to her video. What did you expect me to be nice, kind, sweet? The reality is there is a small per percentage of the population that have a medical condition that permits them from losing weight. Uh, the majority of the population who are considered obese or morbidly obese lack discipline, including me at at times it's unfortunate but nothing i said was a lie y'all are just pissed because i'm the messenger i agree with her stance and under under and i'm understanding that we have to do our part for ourselves to do the best versions we can sorry the, the text is like very very small and it's kind of like hard to see because it's like very low low res the translation sometimes is a little bit tough to uh you know convert from video site to video site it tends to lose a little bit of the quality but uh everything that they said so far is pretty true there are there are a certain percentage of people that have like pcos or other uh genetic conditions that may may impede their ability to lose weight to one degree or another but even then it would still not make a lot of sense because calories in calories out um, for the most part, should work across all spectrums of humanity. You're not going to be able to drive across the entire country on an empty tank. So if you eat less than what your body needs, most of the time, if not all the time, you will lose weight. In the same way that if you fill your car up with 0% gas, you're not going to be able to take it across the country. So your body's going to have to use whatever it has in order to fuel it. And that's going to have to be from the internal methods, um, which would be fat capacity. So I don't know how Samira's going to combat this. She's not, by the way. She's just not. She's going to read a whole bunch of books and make it seem like she's actually reading, even though she's not reading at all this is just like the author's notes i think at the very front front of the cover which is really cringe by the way she even owns a copy of this i think she probably just ordered this off amazon on that one day shipping just to even have it to make this response video which again very cringe on samira's part just a bitch right just a straight up ginormous cock but anyway um y'all just pissed because i'm the messenger i agreed her stance understand uh, understanding that we have to do our part for ourselves to be the best version we can you can't you can't dictate how somebody responds to clear disrespect, and that was her intent in the video that she made first. I didn't fat shame a demographic of people. I spoke specifically on to one person. A lot of you are ta are taking it personal because you probably like the discipline as well. Um, this post will self-destruct. I guess she meant that she was going to delete it. I couldn't find this original post, so... I don't even know what the original video was personally. Maybe I found it by the time you make this. I make this video and you're seeing it. But I can't disagree with anything that this person is saying. Most people that are fat uh, are not are fat because they want to be fat uh, passively most of the time. Like most people don't 
really want to lose weight because it's work to lose weight and it's not so much work to eat more food because that's already something you're doing in general. Samira has a big issue with externalizing all her problems and instead of like looking inward and seeing what they can do in order to solve their, their problem, they instead look outward because it's always better to look outward, of course. Like if it's not my problem, it's got to be somebody else's problem. Therefore, if it's somebody else's problem, then I don't have to solve my own problem because it's up to them to solve my problem. But it's, they're never going to solve your problem because that's an endless Ouroboros of just perpetually fucking your own mouth and never understanding that it's up to you to make those big changes. And most of the time when Samira makes videos nowadays, it's just uh, shitting on big corporations or big companies that don't have plus size selections, even though they boast that they do have plus size selections, but they never actually say that they have plus size selections in stores. And if they do, maybe they're only talking about one or two particular stores. And Samira just basically goes into a whole bunch of these establishments, complains that they don't have plus size selections. And by the way, um, even if they do have plus size selections, that almost doesn't even matter because um, she'll find something to complain about. Oh, the clothes don't look good. Oh, they're not big enough. Oh, these clothes just look ugly. Wow, well, they're not placed in the right place. Whatever. She'll just complain, 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 complain. Because the objective of what Samira is trying to do is not actually to make changes. No, that doesn't make any sense at all. There would be plenty of other things that she should, be, she could be doing to make changes, such as like maybe taking a debate with me, but she would never do that because she knows that all her points are hogwash and she knows that. I mean, there's a reason why she's not responding to anything this person is saying here with a, 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 a verbal, uh, a way of discussing this. Or even, if this even if this was a response, but she could have easily said a whole bunch of things, but she's not going to. Um, Samara's just a weak um, intellect person. She just doesn't feel like or maybe she does. Maybe she can, but um, this is a very low effort video for her. She's not proving any point, but all the Samira stands out there will think that she's hashtag slay queen edges on that one. And uh, she's not. It's just sad, actually. Uh, if you're a Samira fan at this point, I hope you know that this person is a very weak-minded individual. This person has absolutely... This person not only is that, but they're also a facade. This person is code shifting. So what do they call that? Um, where they change their voice dialect at any given point in time, depending on the situation that they're in. They're not, they're not authentic. They have nothing authentic about them. Um, but regardless, let's go. And you want to be the victim again. You want to say somebody's bullying you or something's not going. True, dude. Samira is a, oh, it's so true, dude. Samira is such a victim. I hate when people do this shit, by the way. It's okay if you are a victim, but to make yourself a victim consistently as much as Samira does, it's just, why, why don't you just stand on your own two feet or do your knees shake so, so hard because of the sheer mass on top? Once again, you want to be the victim again. You want to say somebody's bullying you or something's not going in the direction yeah. that you wanted to or go. Or playing ident identity politics, which is uh, the, the very easy go on that one, dude. Like, like she did with me when she said that I was racist. Or she didn't say that I was racist, but she implied that I was racist by focusing on like a 30-second segment where I said her hair was fried, which it was, by the way. Going once again. And I know somebody's going to come on here and say, oh my gosh, she fat shaming. Uh, wait, hold on. Let me see. Um, your fat phobia is showing just because you don't like your own body doesn't mean all plus size people hate their bodies. Samira says that companies sh are promoting size inclusivity should sell their sizes that are inclusive. I wonder if she's just like, if this is like the first comment or like if there was another comment, because when I was getting the amount of hate that I was from the Samira stance on my, um, I think Instagram, I had the worst ones. People were saying the most, like, the dumbest shit. They were saying, like, I should uh, red rum myself or I was um, too many. I, the one I got the most was I microaggressions, a whole bunch of microaggressions towards black people, I guess, because I said her hair was fried, um, which is weird because I, I, I don't I don't. I don't think that everybody should be watching my videos. Obviously, if you don't want to watch my videos, it's fine. But uh, it's very weird when somebody goes, why would you make fun of black people's hair? I make fun of everybody's hair, like, all the time. So um, a lot of these people, and then they, like, a lot of people will go, mm, you got totally ratioed by Samira. Yeah, dude, she has, like, what, like, 5 million followers on TikTok, dude? I got, like, 11,000 subscribers right now, dude. Yes, of course. Yes, of course, bro. Um, but it's okay because uh, I have the willingness to talk shit to Samira, but she has no willingness to talk shit to me. Instead, she has a whole bunch of stands that will come over here and say the things that she obviously cannot say. And if her audience is a reflection of the way she thinks, then very, very low budget intellectual intellectual people. Going in the direction that you wanted to go in once again. And I know somebody's gonna come on here and say, oh my gosh, she's fat shaming. She's fat phobic. I'm not, I'm fat too. I'm plus size and I think that they should just put plus size 
uh, buy the meat and chips. I'm a 1X. I'm a chunky monkey too. Because at the end of the day, I am a brand. I don't know what her brand is. That's what she do on her side. I'm not posting about it. I'm not saying nothing about it. But again, I have to address it because it gets to a point of integrity. I'm not a fat phobic. And when people start putting your integrity on the line, you have to defend your integrity. That's what's making- Samira is such a fucking pussy, dude. Just never doing anything of value, bro. Just sitting here in like a plaza reading books that she's obviously not even reading, man. That she just probably just bought all these off Amazon for the one day delivery delivery man because like there's no way a normal person is going to own any of this man whatever whatever bro it's just very low effort she could have easily hit this woman up and said hey let's have a conversation hey let's have a talk let's do it on stream let's do it on a video whatever and then we'll discuss it we'll discuss why i think i'm right and why you think you're right and then we'll mash heads and see if we can come up with like a, a solution to any of this but samara's never gonna do that because Samira knows there's nothing to gain from that. But she puts herself in these scenarios so very often where she is butting heads with people. And I guess everybody thinks that she hashtag won, but she didn't. She didn't do anything, matter of fact. She just made a video reacting to somebody's shit. And then I guess those people get ratioed and they think that they win. No, this person has absolutely... This is just a fake individual. A fake individual, somebody that is not authentic in any way. And they're... They're putting on a facade to make it seem like they're, I'm guessing, some kind of, like, social activist. Um, but the reality of the situation is, no, they're getting brand deals. They're getting a whole bunch of, um, you know, special offers from particular companies. I've seen as much as on her videos. She doesn't actually want to solve the problem, but she's really happy when she gets those clothes. Those free clothes, huh? Those free clothes or the clout from when she talks shit to, like, Old Navy and they ship her some free clothes. Or they let her go into the store and try on some plus-size selection that they're only going to have there for, like, one day. And they're going to ship them out because... They're only there for Samira on that one time. This is a fake individual, bro. Make no mistake about it. When people start putting your integrity on the line, you have to defend your True. integrity. That's what's making me say, you know what? I am older. Them, you called her fat, and that makes you fat phobic. You know. Uh, did I lie? That's true. Samira is very, very fat. Uh, very, very obese, matter of fact. And the fact that Samira is not going to prove any point here at all. Because if, if the original point is that the majority of people can lose weight by themselves and Samira is not acknowledging that, then I guess she's just like mentally decapitated in some particular way. Like some kind of weird stuff is going on in her brain. Um, if she genuinely believes that. But I think that she probably does believe that. But she knows that her entire brand is binged on the, in fact, on the fact that plus size people exist and she's like the you know spokesperson for all those people so she can't she can't say that she's putting herself in a, in a corner she's a, a perpetual grifter so it's one of two things it's either she's grifting herself to the um fat acceptance movement by saying that being plus size is amazing and all this other stuff um or she genuinely believes it in both cases it's not good so in one case she's a, a liar perpetually in the other case she's mentally deranged so one of the two I, Both are not good, by the way. I'm the bigger, you know, not that I'm the bigger person, but I'm the older person. At this point, it's just getting out of control and out of hand, and I'm over it. You see how Walmart has their plus sizes in the front of it? Very easy. Very easy for Samira to say something there, but refuses to, because she knows she can't. Because if she does, then she'll get ripped apart, and she'll probably say something to make herself look, sound stupid. So she just doesn't engage at all. I just don't understand why she would even make a video like that to begin with if you weren't going to say shit to begin with. I don't know why so many people think that she hashtag power moved that person or power moved me by not responding at all and just maybe looking at, looking at the camera and laughing or reading uh, Fearing the Black Body as if that means anything at all, dude. How about you exchange words, bro? We live in a great economy right now where you're able to exchange words with other people verbally. Why the fuck wouldn't you do that? No, she's not going to because she knows that she's um, she has no value in that, and she would most definitely lose that situation if she did. Store, they're very mindful, they're very cutesy, they're demure. That's produce over there. I could go get an apple and still find something for my apple shape right here in the front. Thank you very much, Walmart. True, Walmart coming through with the plus size selection, dude, ensuring that the ladies can have jeans that fit. But ultimately, the jeans are never big enough because um, the p fat people are not always going to be able to fit in these clothes. And I've often said this, the reason why a lot of these stores don't have plus size selections, at least not to the degree they want, is because d there's not a lot of people coming into the stores. They don't sell very well, which is one of the reasons why Old Navy actually did sell plus size selection in their store for a very long time. I think from the years from around like... 2022 to 2023 or 2022 around there for about two to three years and they stopped selling them and they gave their very they gave the very reason that i'm giving which is that they weren't selling why should we have this stuff in the store 
if we're trying to sell and it's not selling, why would we have it in the store? They just took it out. And that's the reason why you could buy it online. I understand that not everybody wants to shop online. Not everybody wants to be, people want to be able to go into brick and mortar stores and be able to try stuff on and see what fits and what does not fit. I get that. Um, but if you, you can't, you can't be upset with these big retailers that don't sell the, the appropriate sizes that you're in because you are too big to fit into those particular sizes. How about instead of trying, to, instead of like shitting on these companies, right? How about we instead focus on what we can do in order to change our situation to make it better for the society in which we are currently residing in instead of trying to make society in general cater to you or plus size individuals when being plus size is literally a detriment on your frame on any given point in time. Um, I understand that there might be people out there that are plus size or fat or bleg because of no fault of their own and things such and so forth. But that doesn't change the fact that this particular condition is a definitely detrimental one. So. Um, instead of Samira sitting here and complaining about it so often and externalizing all of her problems, uh, by the way, it's a very weak person's position to externalize all their problems. Uh, make no mistake about it. These people do think that they're powerful brain wise by accepting that they didn't, de they didn't do anything in order to put themselves in the position that they're in right now. But, um, that's very easy to do. It's very easy to look at your situation and deduce that it's not you who caused your problems, but instead it was the outer spectrum of humanity that did that. No, it's uh, you. And it's a very hard, it's a very difficult situation to look inward and see what can I do. So like there are a lot of people out there that don't have a lot of money. A lot of people that don't have, that are perpetually poor. But guess what? They're running four or five different streaming services. So like Netflix, Disney Plus, Hulu, whatever, you know, all those different things. A Crunchyroll. I don't even know if Crunchyroll is around anymore. But they have all those or, and you know, they have the newest iPhone. They're consistently on service plans. They're consistently taking out debt for food, Uber eating shit. Um, and they always hit me with uh, buying weed, buying whatever, uh, alcohol. And they always hit me with, why am I poor? Because you're spending all your money on worthless shit and you're not saving your money instead of thinking that it's the government that needs to step in and give everybody like equal income or it needs to step in and like put money down for you have everybody have like a a baseline income of earning or whatever um how about instead you look at your own spending and you refrain from doing that you know the first thing that anybody does when they want to get their finances down check is do a budget and the first thing that you should do when it comes to losing weight is count calories right it's the same shit there so instead of looking at what the society can do for you. How about you look at what you can do for society? Mark. Wait, 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 wait. I spoke too soon. I spoke. I don't like it also. Um, I understand that we do a whole bunch of, like in, in the social media realm, I know there are a lot of people out there that do skits and maybe they know something, they pre watch a video. I've done that a few times. Um, just to really get, just get, just get the, a little bit more flavor on the video. So it looks a little bit more like, oh my God, I can't believe, right? Whatever. Um, I know she pre-recorded this or like, I know she walked up to this and she found, she looked at the plus size selection. It probably wasn't plus size when she walked up and now it's going to be the whole point of the video. To be honest, I wouldn't even be surprised if Samira spent the entire day going from one side of the store to the next, rearranging the plus size selection and putting the other plus size selection over there into the small selection and putting the small selection over here. I know it's, it's probably, she's not doing that. She obviously isn't doing any cardio at all. Let me tell In the front. Thank you very much, Walmart. Hi. Wait, 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 wait. I spoke too soon. I spoke too soon. Because I'm seeing plus, but I'm not seeing plus. Wait, I'm not seeing. Is that a size two? Is, am I tripping? I need help. Pardon? I was looking for the plus size jeans, but those aren't plus size jeans. I saw you don't need no plus size jeans. Listen, listen. <laughs> no, but that I was like, okay, ladies plus, but then it's a size two. All right, come on. Come on <laughs> All right, thank you. I don't know why Samira does this like cutesy little girl thing that when she interacts with people, I've seen this so many times. Whenever she goes up to somebody, um, she always acts completely different than she does when she's recording her videos. Uh, again, probably not a real human being, and. I just stand here on the social media realm. We all tend to extend ourselves in a little bit of a different direction or we put on a little bit of a mask or whatever. seems like Samira, though, she code switches quite a bit. Well, she'll have, like, this way of speaking. So, like, her basic way of her mannerisms of speaking. Oh, my God. Oh, Navy. You really thought that you you was going to have no plus size selection for me. And then when she talks to other people, it's completely gone. So, like, it's not even existent. Um, but anyway. And by the way, that wasn't appropriating black speech, okay? Um, she, that's the way she talks. It's plus, but then it's a size It's too. appropriating how she talks. I'm, I give everybody full consent to appropriate how I talk to. All right, come on. <laughs> come on All right, thank you. Right there. Oh. It's a plus. <laughs> no spaghetti girls. I know, it ain't for me. I'm 
<laughs> okay, thank you. Okay. She's out of breath because she had to walk from one end of the store to the next. I wonder how long Samira thinks that she's going to be able to maintain her relatively healthy, her relatively healthy way of like walking and navigating the world at the size that she is. It's not sustainable to continue this size for an extended period of time. But anyway, yep. Keep complaining about the plus size selection at literally every store. It's no plus size. <laughs> oh, right here. Maybe we should move the sign. Thank you so much for your help. Now Walmart. How do you want us to know that the plus size jeans are right here? You literally had the sign over here. True. Uh, what is that? Like an extra two feet? <sighs> yeah, Samira. I mean, what was I? What was I thinking? Two feet? <sighs> I mean, granted, they should have put it there. They should have, but it is what it is. I'm sick of an it. Extra two feet. I'm really sick of it. And what is it right next to? Clarence. So. Clarence. Yep. What does that say? Over it. <laughs> Don't piss me off. Oh, Navy. Are we? <laughs> Like an extra two feet, dude. And why does it matter what it's next to, man? Most of the men's selection is like right next to like the lingerie or like the child's children toys or whatever, dude. The amount of times that men go into these stores and just find like, oh yeah, look, a belt. And then you slightly scroll over a little bit and you're like, what is this? Women's underwear? That Every time. Every single time, dude, when we go to a men's section. Because I get it. A lot of men don't shop in stores and things like that. So I won't complain about it necessarily. But uh, dudes don't have a lot of selection. And also, we're not we're, – we're literally – we don't even have a whole floor to ourselves. We have, like, a section of a floor. Joke to you? Are your plus-size customers a joke to you? Why do you sound like this but you don't sound like this in real life? You made these shirts. Yeah. For this – demonstration it's cringy it's really fucking cringy the way she talks dude uh very condescending very know-it-all-esque which is really weird because she can she could very much put on a facade of i know what i'm talking about on a video where she can choreograph it herself right where she could step back and she can you know put on this elaborate performance but when it comes time to actually put put together a sentence that's going to maybe counter somebody else's argument it almost seems like that's never something that's ever going to float out of your mouth at all so instead of floating things out of your mouth, you're most definitely focus on things that are floating in your mouth, like hot dogs or maybe uh, eclairs or something like that. That the CFDA and Vogue are putting on. Fashion for our future. Right, because if you're fat, you're most definitely making, you're not making it to the future, right? Let's be honest here for a second, unless you got that DeLorean from uh, Back to the Future, you might be able to make it future on those, uh, but you got to hit up that dude Doc Brown real quick to see if you can get access to it. Yeah, well, what do you want from me? What, do, what is this? And they stop at an XXL. Okay, that's pretty big. They don't even come in plus sizes. Okay. But you continuously want to center plus size bodies in... For 30 years, Old Navy has stood for for the democracy of style, making fashion accessible for all. We And we believe that democracy, I love democracy. Does anybody know where that's from? Like fashion is, a, is at its best when everybody can participate. We are thrilled to partner with so many in our industry to show that every voice and Zach Penson, Zach Poison, I don't know. Executive pre president and creative director at Gap and creative – what is this even what? Uh, Samira, you do realize that companies just bullshit you, right? This is a nothing statement. They're just basically saying, like, we have selections of stuff, and they might be for other people. Um, and, you know, it's great that we're really inclusive. This is just talking points, dude, of course. And I understand that you can look at this and you can go, like, oh, my God, they said that they're doing this. But it's a very vague way of saying it. This is an absolute nothing statement. But, all right, I guess. It's an easy – it's an easy uh, – <laughs> It's a low-hanging fruit, so, you know, because it's so low-hanging, she's going to pick from it, which I've always said, if it's a low-hanging fruit, don't. It's too easy. It's way too easy. Um, go for the higher-hanging fruit, more juicy, be able to actually, uh, you know, more value out of that one instead of the low-hanging fruit. Everybody can go for those. It's very easy to go on those. In your marketing and not in your stores. Use this in your advertising. Use this in your mission statements and continue to intentionally exclude us from every single aspect of fashion when it matters most. Victim, victim, victim. I'm a victim. Samira is a perpetual victim, dude. It, it, it's so it's so crazy to me how she can live a life where she just always claims that she's being discriminated against because of the size that she is. Like, how can you live a life like this? And you know what's really funny is I don't think she actually thinks like this. I think the majority of the day she's probably good, but she knows she has to put on this particular facade on the internet because she knows that this is what people want to see, which is really, really cringy, by the way. But uh, you know what? Hashtag go get the bag, sis. We're talking about voting. I don't even know what we're even doing with this right here. Like, what? why do we even still have this up? This is a meaningless statement. This is like a company basically just saying, like, yeah, we want people to dress in our clothes and 
people that are very diverse can dress in our clothes. What does it even mean to like, we believe in democracy for style? What the fuck is that? Fashion when it matters most. We're talking about voting. Are we too big to vote now? What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, this important I incentive gives us all, the American fashion industry and everyone around the world watching an opportunity to stand together, learn from each other, support democracy and peace, um, peace in America and across the globe. What the fuck does this have to do with anything? What are we even talking about right now? What does it have to do with voting? What the hell? This is such a weird, this is such a weird video. We're talking about voting. Yeah. Are we too big to vote now? I don't know where you got that from. I, I just really don't like the gaps, too, dude. Could you just say your sentence in, like, a timely manner, dude? Please. Are we too big to vote now? Depends, right? The lines might be a little bit too long. You can't give people water. Hope you brought your own water. You got to ensure that you're properly hydrated, dude. I don't know how, how much your legs can handle. So, you know, the gravity does exist. So, I don't know how long you want to be standing. Maybe get the mail-in ballots. Are we? Maybe. What is it going to take? For you to take us seriously and stop making a mockery of size inclusivity. What the fuck are you talking about, man? What I thought we were talking about democracy and voting. What the hell are we talking about now? What are you doing right now? What is this video for? Who is this video for? Who's watching this video and, like, gets empowered because Samira wants fat people to, like, be able to vote for what? Clothes? Like, what are we talking about? I don't understand, dude. If you couldn't tell, I'm livid. I don't think that she's actually livid. I'm pretty sure Samira just like amped herself up for this one video. And then right after this, she's just going to go, <sighs> anyway, let me just go downstairs and have my toaster strudel and watch Love is Blind while my Uber Eats delivery shows up. Because it pisses me off that fat people are continuously being treated like they are less than. Yeah, she doesn't believe any of this shit, right? There's no fucking way that she believes any of this shit that... Not, not even close, dude. If you actually believe, if you actually want what's best for fat people, which I hope you do, then you would tell almost, you would tell every fat person for the most part that they should be losing weight because that is probably the be all end all when it comes to the actual, uh, the, the healthiest outcome. I understand that you want fat people to have clothes, which is fine. I think fat people should have clothes too. Ooga booga. I do definitely not want to be seeing a lot of those guts hanging out. So I think that those things should exist. But if you truly want what's best for fat people, then you would tell them to lose weight. In the same way that if you had a friend or you had a family member that was consistently had no money and they had no they had no cash or whatever because they were spending all their money on everything else, then you would tell that person to what? Save their money. To stop spending their money willy-nilly. To stop, you know, budget and all this other stuff. So wouldn't you do that? Why wouldn't you do the same for people that are overweight or fat? Because you're because you're pissed off? It's fine. It's fine, dude. Samira is Samira's dumb. She's a, she's a dumb person, or she's a very smart person, and she's three D chesting a whole bunch of people, which I can't I can't really tell, dude. To be honest, it's either one or the other, dumb or three D chesting and uh, grifting. That fat people are continuously being treated like they are less than. <laughs> like what they have to offer doesn't matter as much as someone else just because they're bigger. <laughs> Yes, Samira. Yes. We're, have you never been anywhere? Certain people have more value than other people, right? So, like, for instance, and it all depends on the situation. So, like, for instance, uh, a mechanic is not going to be very valuable in a, a mining field or, like, somewhere where uh, a whole bunch of crops are being made, which which sucks a lot of dick. Um, being a fisherman could be very, very intuitive or very, very lucrative if they were on the coast somewhere. But they would be literally not valuable at all if they were, like, in the middle of Michigan. So, like, obviously, like, depending on where you are and the person that you are and, like, whatever skills you have, you're going to be more or less valuable depending on that spot. Um, if we're talking about being fat and fashion, I don't even understand what we're even talking about. Like, they're treated less than, dude. Uh like because you guys can't find clothes such a weird niche audience as well such a weird niche thing why don't we talk about where plus size people aren't so like stairs would you say that that is oppression would you say that they're treated they're treated less than because stairs exist because walking upstairs when you're literally piling on an extra two three four times more weight on your body would you say that they're being oppressed there would you say that that's not a good thing when the elevator stops working would you say that they're oppressed there would you say that when a fat person physically cannot lift up their leg anymore to get in and out of the shower would you say that society oppressing them when does it become when does it become your problem instead of everybody else's problem 
Like, you know when you get into an Uber and you can't buckle your seatbelt because your gut is too far extended out by like several more inches to where you can't buckle up anymore and you physically can't get that Uber? I believe uh, most Ubers are actually probably okay with you not buckling up. I've had a few times where they were okay with it, but you should probably buckle up. Um, unless you're taking a taxi here in my state, you don't have to buckle up in commercial vehicles. But if you want to, you should. But, um... Definitely Samira, again, it's all everybody else's problem, and it's never hers. And she's putting on this, like, weird facade. By the way, are you wearing a necklace right now? What is this right here? Why, why, what's the point of wearing a necklace if I can't even see it? It's being suffocated by the neck folds. Does it matter as much as someone else just because they're bigger? Yeah, big people. So, like, for instance, if you wanted to hire a big person to be, like, an athlete, um, they might be able to do certain athletes. Like, they might be able to be, like, football players, depending on how fat they were. But they're not most definitely not going to be, like, Olympic-level sprinters or, like, dudes that are going to be able to. You know the cameramans on, like, Maury Povich where they, ch where they chase the baby mamas around and stuff like that? You're not going to be able to do that if you're, like, 450, right? And I am sick of it. <laughs> Today we are at... It's cringe, dude. So fucking cringe. Just want everybody to know, right after that video, Uber Eats showed right up at that door. That ding dong. She went downstairs happy as hell. At Kohl's. Now, I ain't never been to Kohl's. But all of y'all been in my comments saying they got the plus sizes. So let's go see. They said big bag bitch get to the bag. They True. said... Oh my gosh, when is plus? Oh, who dressed my good sis? And who... Please. It doesn't look good at all, dude. You're gonna get a little bit of that glitter and lasers, though. Gotta redress the redress the mannequin. Wait, puts the flat in flattery? Gotta complain about anything, dude, right? Gotta complain about anything. You remember when Samara had a big issue when they put fat in front of any word because, like, the adjective of fat is just negative in, like, any context ever, even though they literally do that on, like, everything, and it doesn't necessarily indicate, like size right or like skinny what about skinny legends like there's tons of restaurants out there that have fat and skinny in front of their names i don't know if she extends those things like it's just dumb like she's going so far to justify her claims man just i understand this is like your grift samira but we're going far here am i being punked is there a camera on me oh now i will God. say they do get points because i do see a 26 on the rack and it is a pretty big section but the language the language oh my god dude the fucking language dude. it's always something dude we could never we could never just have anything huh samira it's always got to be a problem there's never a time where you're just satisfied with something. I'm, you know, look, dude. I don't tend to have a. I don't. I don't tend to complain about much here in my life. I understand that things could be better. I understand that, uh, you know, we we have the opportunity to make things better. But most of the time, I'm not gonna complain about stuff because I don't really have the energy to look at everything and find critiques in all of it. Because I could, and it's just it, it's just meaningless. And plus, I don't want to be around somebody that consistently complains about literally everything. But anyway. It conditions people to think that they only that they can only wear items that are slimming, flattering. You found one word that said flattering, and now you're saying that like the whole entire plus size selection is like hashtag fat phobic. What is it supposed to say? Like we put the plus in plus size. If you're we put the blig in blig. Like what is it supposed to say, dude? What what we put the diet in diabetes? I don't know, man. What what do you fucking want? How what are the what what kind of language do you want, dude? A lot of these people that are fat know that they're fat and they don't want to be fat because being fat is not very attractive for most people. So anyway, whatever, Joe. Et cetera. Um, and then brands wonder why a certain styles of clothing don't sell. Are you under the assumption that the reason why a lot of those clothing brands don't sell is because they're saying flattering? You think that's the reason? Okay, Samira. That's, that's a stretch. Probably more stretching that you've done in your entire life, given the fact that your body is literally incapable of doing it. Uh, well, you tell us through the language of your other clothing offerings that we shouldn't wear the body bodycon dresses. What is a bodycon dress? And the crop tops, mini skirts, uh, etc. You teach us to be ashamed of our bodies. Oh, we teach you guys to be ashamed of your bodies, huh? These stores take the uh, so much, so much projecting, so much internalized. And so much of internalized fat phobia for themselves, for Samira, and just projecting it upon everybody else, dude. This is the this is literally what that is. This person is incapable of looking at what they can do for themselves. It's actually quite anomalistic. It's uncanny that a, an adult human being such as this person can refuse to take accountability so often. You're stressing me out. And is another reason why plus size people hate shopping. Because even when we find things in our... Uh, let's, yeah, okay, here comes the cope, right? This is the reason why plus size people don't like shopping? This right here is the reason? Not because they can't get out of the chair and walk down the street and go into the store and like walk around try stuff on because it takes a long time to put clothes on and off and then also just simply getting into the store is going to be very very tough for them that's not the reason right it's because they saw the word flattering on the clothes huh 
Okay. Yeah, definitely Samara. You definitely, this definitely isn't a reach. This definitely isn't you trying to make it seem like it's the stores that are the problem. Even though most of the time, the people that, the reason why people don't shop there is because they're not fat. They're like, I remember I was watching this, this game com convention, right? I forgot what the game was, but it doesn't matter. They were on stage and they were taking questions. You know those like questions where the kids come up or like the whatever. People come up and they ask questions about what is going to be in the game? What exactly is this game all about? Whatever. This one person came up and this person said, I'm looking up on the stage right now and I'm seeing nothing but men. I'm seeing all these people over here that's worked in the game and there's no women to be found at all. Where is the inclusivity? Where is the women? Where are the women? And the guy came up and he said it straight out. He said, listen. They don't apply. How are we supposed to hire women that don't apply? What are we supposed to like pick them off the street even if they're not qualified in any particular type of way? We're only hiring people that are able to apply that meet the standards for the game in which we want to create. If women aren't applying, we can't force them to apply. It's the same thing here. I understand it's very easy for Samira and a lot of other people to look at um, companies not being able to sell a lot of clothes and think it's because of the wording on the clothes. That's a big fucking stretch. That's a really big fucking stretch, dude. Uh, it's probably more to do, and you know what? I'm gonna keep it a buck here. That is the majority reason is that people are not able to shop in these clothes, shop in these cold these clothing brands is because they're not willing to go to these clothing brands. They're too fat to be able to walk in, especially once you get to these extended sizes. So that's a reason, okay? Uh, Old Navy said as much. All these big retailers that did that plus size selection for a really long time that stopped selling it was the reason they just weren't able to sell it. People weren't coming in. They weren't babe, they weren't buying it, and it makes sense, okay? Uh, there's a reason why the the gaming industry is being dominated by men. Um, women are playing the games every more and more every single year, of course, but you can't say that like video games are not primarily dominated by men. So a lot of games are going to be primarily focused towards men, right? Sure. You can make it more inclusive, which is great, but you can't be upset when the people don't walk in and they're not buying the clothes and then you're blaming it on society, blaming it on the, the companies. It's a dumb take. It's a stupid take, but Samara's not going to see that. And it's funny if people actually thought about it for more than like more more than like i don't know four seconds you would realize that me out and there's another reason why plus size people hate shopping because even when we find things in our size we're still told that we should hate our bodies yeah, it's just it's just cringe it's just it's just really fucking cringe bro because <laughs> look at this come on come on <sighs> i'm literally going to amanda short uh with built-in slimming panels what what am i supposed to do on that how big is it first of all like if this is a size like 30 and they got built-in slimming panels i will agree that it's kind of irrelevant what the fuck kind of what, what am i even doing with that dude what's even the purpose lose my mind amanda short with built-in slimming panel okay. this is my cue to go now it's safe to say i didn't get I don't like Samira, dude. She's such a grifter, dude. She's such a fucking grifter, man. She really walked into Kohl's just to find a reason to not like it. And then she literally found, like, two examples in an entire plus-size selection. And then was like, I gotta get out of here, man. I gotta. I can't believe it. They said something slimming. Oh, uh, what's wrong with being fat? Nothing. But a lot of people don't want to be fat, okay? There's a reason why, like, they, they have stuff like that written on the thing. Most people that are fat know that it's not good to be fat. So they're trying to find reasons to not be fat. And sometimes it's easier to find clothes that are going to do it artificially than it would be for you to actually put in the work. Get nothing from the plus size section. But I did get something from Sephora. I want to first and foremost say thank you to everybody who's been super supportive these past couple of days. I don't know what's going on that, on that girl's page and why she's still dragging this situation. But you got to let it go, honey. You post up what I said about you. Nothing that I said about you is a lie. True, no dude. Samara has absolutely nothing to say. Isn't it very interesting that she can make those like long elaborate videos shitting on, shitting on the plus size selection when nobody is there. But when somebody calls her out, she says nothing at all. It's really interesting. Nothing that I said about you is a lie. You stand for plus size exclusivity in stores. You've been a 3X for years. You don't have to be a 3X. True. If the stores are not going to change their policies to make you feel more comfortable when you shop in their stores, then you make yourself feel more comfortable True. when you shop in their stores. That's the only thing that you have control over. And to be honest, that's the best option for the situation at hand. It's just to lose some more weight so you don't have to deal with this. Then everybody that's coming on my page trying to defend her, y'all all look exactly the same. Damn. All of y'all look the same. Everybody look the same. I don't wear a 3X. Just to be clear, I wear a 1X. So for everybody in the comments asking me what, a, where do I shop for my 3X at? I don't wear a 3X. I'm not knocking women who do wear a 3X. I don't wear a 3X. And I have to address it because it gets to a point of integrity. I'm not a fat phobic. phobic and when people start putting your integrity on the line, you have to defend your integrity. And I'm gonna keep it cute. True. True, bro. 
Um, I don't even understand what the point of that video was. Like, you just walking on the beach. What is that? What, what was that even that justification there? Like, just to put her on blast so your fans will go over there and, like, what a, what a bitch-ass strategy, bro. What a bitch-ass strategy. Get your minions to get your dogs barking, bro. What? What kind of shit is that? Defend yourself, Samira. Say the words, bro. Talk your shit, bro. Speak your truth, man. Why is it so hard for you to start talking when somebody else call you out on your shit? But when you're out by, your, when you, when, when you're out by yourself, you can make a, a choreographed video. Suddenly, you talking quite a bit. That seemed kind of weird, Samira. What happened to that strong, independent woman mentality? Where that at? The issue at hand is that you feel like stores should practice plus size exclusivity, which I completely agree with. If you advertise that you sell a certain size, you should have it in store for us to try on. I get it. But that's 10% of the problem. 90% of the problem is you. 90% of the problem is that you lack discipline to get down to a smaller size. 90% of the problem is that you don't have to be a 3X. That's a choice. You've been campaigning about this for years. Shit, you even wrote a song about it. And instead of saying, hey, let me get to a healthier version of me, you want to go into Old Navy and H&M and Forever 21 and American Eagle and have a temper tantrum that they don't have a size 3X. True. You got to understand this, though, right? The reason why she does that is she knows. She obviously knows. But the issue here is that it doesn't matter to her. The, it's never mattered to her, okay? The, the, she's a she's a perpetual grifter. Or she's just, I don't know, she has, like, some kind of weird mental, mental problem where she can't comprehend this. It's one or the other, like I said earlier. But I'm pretty sure it's because she's a grifter. She knows this, and she doesn't want to solve the problem because it's very it's very lucrative for her to maintain this, I don't know, plus-size strategy of shitting on companies and whatever. Because here's the thing. You can forever shit on you can forever shit on companies. You can forever shit on big organizations. Like, nothing's going to happen, dude. You can, you just say that until the, until the, the, the fucking earth implodes because not, none, none of that's going to change. None of it. In the same way that, for instance, if somebody was giving out, like, oh, here's what you do in order to save money – the solution is never go to Congress, you know, outside with picket fences and say, we need basic income. That's going to be stupid. Like, that's never going to fucking happen, dude. And even if it did happen, that's going to be many, many years in the future. Uh, but I know something right now that can solve your problem. It's called finances. Uh, it's it's called um, budgeting. It's called budgeting. In the same way that, you know, for a lot of these people, it should be losing weight. So, But they're never going to do that because it's not lucrative enough for Samira to lose weight and change the way that they are because they've already locked themselves into this particular framework. Maybe in H&M and Forever 21 and American Eagle and have a temper tantrum that they don't have a size 3X instead of focusing on the fact that you don't have to be a size 3X. True. And I know somebody's going to come on here and say, oh my gosh, she's fat shaming. She's fat phobic. I'm not. I'm fat too. I'm a 1X. I'm a I also don't like the claim of like, I'm fat too, therefore I can speak on this. Or like, if you're going to claim that I'm fat phobic and... Like, then you should be, that's okay, bro. It's okay. You can rep the fat phobia. If they, if they deduce that you are fat phobic because you're speaking, you're speaking facts right now, uh, that's fine. They can go ahead and call you that dude. You might as well represent it at this point. That word has literally lost all of its meaning. If they're just going to call you fat phobic because you're telling people if they want to fit into society better or they want to become healthier, then weight loss would be the solution, especially if you're overweight or obese. If that's what, if they're going to call you fat phobic for that, it's all right. Just rep it. Chunky monkey too. But I don't come on social media complaining. What was the look though? Bro, what is up with Samira, dude? It's it's just a bitch ass strategy, dude. Making faces or just having a video play where you say nothing. It's just some pussy ass shit. Yo, Samira, I put I, I sent you a DM, bro. What's the word? When we having that conversation? When we having that talk? Oh, big. I'm not. I'm fat too. I'm a one act. I want to hear the words, bro. I want to hear the words exchange. I want to see where you're coming from. Why not? Why not? You got nothing to lose, right? You obviously believe in what you're saying, right? Nah, let me stop. No, let me stop, dude. You don't want to get wrecked, right? I'm a chunky monkey too, but I don't come on social media. Why are we looking when she said chunky monkey? Is that some kind of like racial epithet? Is that what it is? Because she said chunky monkey? Is that what we're saying, Samira? Huh? Is that what we're doing? We're looking at a black queen such as yourself, right? So she could say that, right? She could say chunky monkey, even if it was a racial epithet, right? Am I wrong? You're complaining that stores don't have my size. Instead, I try not to be that size. True. So get some discipline in your life and focus on that. And you Ooh. thought you ate with that little video. You really did. Th you thought you ate with that little video. You did. You thought you ate. You chewed it up and swallowed it, and it was straight from your chin to your chest because you don't have a neck. Damn. Hard as hell. And let's focus on the clothes that you do wear. Everything that you wear is too small. You just in the mall with your titties flip-flopping all over the goddamn place. Just a goddamn hot, sweaty, heavy mess. Damn. Damn, that's hard as hell, bro. She really got her with that one. But uh, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, bro. She's right. I mean, there's really nothing else I can say about that, dude. That's that's all true. Uh, Samira is a queen of never making anything her problem. And, uh, you know, it is what it is. She's a terrible, disgusting human being. And um, I don't know why she got to be a pussy all the time, bro. And an actual cock every single second of the day where she she could talk all that shit on her own videos. But when, when the time come to actually say some words, 
uh, a value to somebody that that was that's calling her out. She ain't gonna do that. She's never gonna do that. It's never it's never gonna be a priority for her, which makes sense because she knows she did. Um, she would lose, and it wouldn't even be hard either. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Hope you enjoyed today's video. I hate Samira. No, let me stop. I don't hate Samira. I think Samira's an asshole. I think Samira's a pussy. I think Samira has absolutely uh, is a facade. I don't think that she's a real human being, and I think that she's a perpetual grifter. And uh, I hope to talk to her one day, but that's never going to happen. But you're amazing. You're fantastic. You're beautiful. If you watched today's video in its entirety, leave it down below by typing in, I don't know, let me think, queen, 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 because we're all queens here, right? I'm a black queen. I'm a black queen. You remember when Samara called me out because I said I'm a black queen and everybody said I was racist? It's okay. People can think I'm racist. It's weird though, isn't it? Like I'm I'm racist because I said I'm a black queen. I understand it because like black people have like a special attachment to their hair. Um, but not all black people. I know a lot of black guys that don't even know what a bonnet is, which is probably fine for them since they don't really do much with their hair. Um, not they just kind of chill with it, I guess. They, they sleep on literal cotton pillowcases, which is insane. But um, I guess for like black guys, it's not that bad. But because they keep their hair short anyway, faded. But it doesn't matter. Um, I'm a black queen. You're a black queen. We're all black queens here. Uh, love you guys. Beautiful, spectacular human beings. I really appreciate you tuning in today on this special episode. I appreciate you tremendously, by the way. I love the fact that you were able to take care of yourself this morning. When you woke up and you looked down and you thought, what am I going to do right now? And you went over and you got that bottle of water and you popped it open and you, you just really swallowed down that 16 fluid ounces right into your mouth and fully lubricated yourself, making yourself ready for the day, that was actually really great. And then also, right after that, when you brush your teeth, that was pretty good. I really liked that, matter of fact, when you was brushing your teeth, it looked great. The technique was unparalleled. I really thought that maybe you should probably make a tutorial video so other people can admire the beauty of how you cleanse your teeth so appropriately. But anyway, guys, we're going to end the video here. Um, socials will be listed down below. Enjoy the rest of your day, guys.